Well, hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Thanks for joining us for another video. Today we are working on a project that we had intended on getting done from the point that we moved into our cabin, but we were kind of putting it off on the back burner until we had the time to tackle it. But unfortunately, as life happens, we are having to address this situation a little bit sooner than expected, and that is tying in our new well to our cabin. When we first bought our cabin here in Alaska, our little off-grid cabin, the property already had a well installed by the previous owner. However, during inspections while we were purchasing the property, they determined that that well wasn't sufficient, basically just that it was not pumping as many gallons per minute as it should. So we negotiated with the owner and we're able to knock off the sum of the sales price to afford to put in a new well, which we did as soon as we purchased the property. So the current well that we have is about 46 feet deep and the new well that we had drilled is approximately 120 feet. So a significant difference. But the problem is we did all of this from Virginia before we moved to the cabin. So it was like we paid to have the new well put in, but we have never tied it into the cabin yet. So in Instead of running a new trench all the way from the new well to the cabin, which is pretty far, we're gonna go ahead and tie in that new well to the old well since the pipes are already ran from the old well to the cabin. As you guys know, when we got here to Alaska, it was just the three of us, me, Joe, and our son, Parker. And then we added Kellen to our family. And then we had Lexi, our daughter, come up here for about a month. So we went from a family of three to a family of five very quick. So while the 46 foot well was sufficient for about five months when we first got here, as the family grew, it quickly was not sufficient. So we started running out of water in the middle of our showers, running out of water in the middle of doing dishes. And so Joe and I were like, oh man, we've got to get to work on getting this new well plugged into the cabin. We went to Lowe's yesterday and bought all the things that we need for this project. Uh, maybe not all the things, but I think the beginning parts and things that we need to get this project underway. Is that your favorite one? Uh-huh. She's starting to grow an orange on her neck now. Yeah. She's pretty. <laughs> Are you happy to have chickens again? Yeah. Yeah. It feels like it's been so long, huh? So we actually ended up with two roosters. That's our rooster right there. He's the only one crowing as of now. But this is our second rooster. And Parker's named him Oreo. <laughs> So I'm standing at the cabin now and the distance from the cabin to both wells because they are both right across from each other on opposite sides of the driveway. This is the distance from the cabin to the wells. You can see Joe over there working and digging. So it wouldn't make sense to spend the time, energy, and money to pipe in a whole new line to bring the well water to the cabin when there's already one in the ground from the old well. So this is the old well. This is the new well that we had put in. Is that your selfie stick? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. An Alaskan selfie stick right there. So even though Lexi's moved out now in her apartment, we still have four of us with Kellen. And if you look into like anything that we're gonna be doing this summer, well, maybe not this summer, cause I'm not doing a garden, but if you're looking to water a garden, water the animals, like anything that's gonna take a significant amount of water, we would have had a difficult time because we were running out of water when we were doing laundry, washing dishes, and showering with the current well. But there's only 15 usable gallons in that well. So there's 15 usable gallons in the old well. Yeah. How many are we going to get from the new well? Oh, a hundred and something. I don't remember. A hundred and something? 
Well, that's still, that's a huge difference. Chill. Maybe I could shave my legs without having to fill up a cup of water to rinse my razor in. 87 more feet of water. Yeah, that's, that's significant. You guys riding bikes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the snow melting, you can finally get your bikes out, huh? Mm -hmm. Parker, we gotta get you a bike, buddy, so you don't have to keep driving mama's. Yeah, that's You like good. driving mama's pink bike? That's fine. <laughs> no, so I'm digging down so I could put a pitless in there. So the water line's down low so it doesn't freeze coming out the top. But we'll measure that one so we can see how far down we need to go. I think minimum it's supposed to be 10 feet, but if that one's not at 10 feet, then I'm not going to 10 feet. You're just going to go to whatever it's at? Because we haven't had any problems with that one, so. Right. And we're, we've decided to keep the same pump, right? Yeah. Because this pump works fine, so there's no reason to spend all the money on a new pump. See, this is the stuff I was looking for. That's the pitless down there. Mm -hmm. That like yellow thing. It's really brass. brass, yeah. Six and a half. So it's only six and a half feet under grade. Ground level. Mm -hmm. It's six and a half feet down and it's supposed to be 10 feet down. We'll drill a hole in, put the pitless in, and then I'll have you dig this out, this channel. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll just I'll just dig all the way across the driveway, Joe. No problem. <laughs> are we going to be renting equipment to do that? Because we are not hand shoveling the whole driveway, Joe. We'll see. Joe, that wasn't a question. It was a statement. <laughs> And then all of this is like just nice sand. Oh, Parker, you look like the lady on uh, Home Alone in New York. <laughs> Are you the chicken whisperer? Yeah. Oh, she jumped up there all by herself? Uh-huh. She likes you. Well, the seasons are changing, friends, and we are so excited to take you guys along for the transition from winter into spring and then summer. As you can tell behind me, everything is melting super duper fast. And it's just amazing to watch the transformation because we got here in the middle of winter and everything was covered in like four feet of snow and we haven't seen the ground since last fall when we came up for a week to visit the cabin. Look at all the green, all the trees we cut down. Wow. 
Well, Joe and I got the chicken coop stained. I think it was last week. We knocked that out. I think it looks a lot better. We used the same stain that we used on the kids' tree fort to make everything match. But I think it looks really good. Eventually we can get out here and get a chicken run built for them so they can have an outside area that's more permanent and safe from predators. Right now we're just using that temporary section of the dog kennel for the chickens to sit in during the day so they can get some fresh air. Give me some time, give me some time to get stronger. I'll be okay, just give me a little bit longer. Yeah, we're gonna win the struggle we're in. It's never goodbye, it's never goodbye till it's over. Come back to love. I was so crazy to lose you, just come back. Well, good morning, friends. So I recently shared over on YouTube on one of my shorts, this awesome curling headband that I bought on Amazon that has completely changed my life. I'm not even kidding you. I showed the reveal of what the curls look like and so many of you messaged me and said, Tina, how did you put it in? Can you show us start from finish? So I'm gonna show you that really quick. So the first thing you wanna do is brush out your hair. You want your hair to be dry. It does not have to be wet for this. In fact, you don't want it to be wet, okay? So make it, make sure it's dry, but you do wanna just spritz it a little bit with some water. Next, you're gonna take your little curling headband, which is so soft and satiny. It's got a little wire in it, so it's easily bendable and stays in place, but you're gonna place it on the center of your head and just really quickly wrap one side around the band just to keep it out of the way while we're twisting the other side. All right, now we're gonna go to the next side and we're just gonna grab sections of hair starting around the temple area, wrap it around the back side of the band and pull it forward, each time grabbing a little bit more hair and then wrapping to the back of the band and once again, pulling forward. You're gonna do this all the way to the bottom. Now that you're done, you're gonna take your little scrunchie that comes with your headband. You're gonna make sure that end is tucked in really well and wrap your scrunchie around to hold it in place. Now don't worry if you have some layers and some little spikies sticking out. You can always go back with the curling iron to get those ends that you might've missed. So now that we're done with this side, we are going to take out the next side and do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, now just grab your pigtails, give them a little twist backwards. This is gonna make your curls nice and tight. If you want them loose, then don't do that. Then just grab the pigtails, cross them in the back, tuck your ends in, and voila, there you go. You guys can do this before bed, or you can do it in the morning, leave it in for a few hours, and then before you know it, you have beautiful, effortless curls with no curling iron. Well, hey guys, good morning. It is a gloomy day today. It's actually completely overcast and we might even get a little bit of rain today. So I don't know how much work we're gonna get done, but I'm gonna be doing some inside work today in the cabin where it's warm and toasty. It's about 40 degrees outside, but when it's overcast like this, it feels colder. So we are just doing school today and Lexi is actually on her way over. I am going to be teaching her how to edit her very first YouTube video. So many of you have been like, why doesn't Lexi start a YouTube channel? She should start a channel. And I've actually been trying to get her to start one for a couple years and I think I've finally got her convinced. So she's been filming 
spending her first few days in her new apartment all by herself and she's bringing over that content so I can teach her how to edit and kind of put that movie together. And if you guys are so inclined and would love to show her support and encouragement, I will make sure to link her channel as soon as we have everything set up and her first video drops. If you could go over and love on her, subscribe and help her, you know, just start building up her channel, watch her first video, give it a thumbs up, leave her some really awesome comments for encouragement. I would personally so appreciate that because I know as a YouTuber how hard it is sometimes. You know you're putting yourself out there and Lexi is gonna be just doing a lifestyle vlog which I think is gonna be really cool. It's gonna be kind of the perspective of a young person living in Alaska in town, right? Which is a totally different perspective than the, the life that Joe and I live out here off grid raising children with nothing around us. So it's kind of cool. Um, whoever watches like my channel and her channel will get both perspectives. So it'll be good. But editing is a big learning curve and thankfully she's got a mama that already knows how to do all this stuff. So today, since it's gloomy and a little bit drizzly outside, we are gonna just be working on editing her first video. The boys are doing school and I think Joe might be doing some work outside on cutting up some of those trees that we took down last fall because the snow, as you guys saw, is just like completely melting. So now we can see all the work that we really have to get done. We used to hang around town pretty late. I spent the week thinking about the next day. It was easier than, so much easier than. Or like the time I picked you up outside of school. Hi, Lexi. Good morning. Oh, oh there's a little Oh, close. how are you? Good. Are you doing good in your apartment? <sighs> yeah. yeah. Welcome back to the cabin. I know. I think I'm gonna leave again. Why? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like home? Yeah. Are you excited to work on your first video? Mm -hmm. Yes. I just told everybody all about it. Oh goodness. Yeah. I think it's gonna be wonderful. Don't be scared. Hopefully. Oh, your curls stayed in. Yeah. Yeah, they look good. All right. Well, as soon as I'm done, we'll we'll get busy. Take me back to the, take me back to those easy summer days when we stopped at nothing, baby. Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby. They couldn't change us, they couldn't catch us if they tried Now we didn't care at all, about winter or spring or fall We felt so alive, and girl we were thriving On kisses and sunshine and mischief, yeah we had one of those things We just had one of those things I guess I've had some things to figure out But now that I'm done, I'm full of doubt Was it easy for you? Yeah, was it too easy for you? You used to say that you would always be mine But you seem to be doing just fine Now I think about you I just can't seem to stop thinking about you Take me back to the
Great. Once that's done, I drag these out of here into the trash, or your trash is over here. If not, this will take up space on your computer and you don't want that. So when it's done downloading, always drag these to the trash can. And then, and then after this, we open iMovie and we drag all your content into iMovie. Now, when you film, your stuff should already be in order because your phone already puts your clips in order, right? Of how they happen. So you don't have to worry about like plugging them in this was yesterday, this was that one day. Say chainsaw issues three times. I can't even say chainsaw. <laughs> I couldn't either. Chainsaw, chainsaw issues, chainsaw issues. Whoa. Chainsaw issues. No. Issues. Chain, all right, ready? Chainsaw issues, chainsaw issues, chainsaw issues. Chainsaw issues. <laughs> So we're saying chainsaw issues because Joe just came in and said, well, I was cutting trees, but I'm having chainsaw issues and I couldn't say it for the life of me, but we are taking a quick break to make a cup of coffee and we just got through making Lexi's YouTube channel, creating her name, creating her super cute cover art, and we officially have all of her content from this week in iMovie and we're getting ready to edit. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Just a little... Alaska picture, little Alaska landscape. Her channel name is Life with Lex. L-E double X. Double X in the Don't. house. Okay, but we're, you are not a gangster. That's how Parker is. <laughs> Unfortunately, someone had already chosen Life with Lex with one X, so she had to do two X's. But yes. her name, oh. oh yeah, you already was gonna say it. My I name is spelled. L-E-X-X-Y, right. not L-E-X-I or L-E-X-Y or anything else. So, you know, just take the Y off, L-E-X-X. -X. It makes sense. Double X. Double X like the size? The Do I look double X? <laughs> no, actually. I look like a <laughs> negative X. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so we got three cups of coffee. We got Tina, Lexi, and Joe. You know, we sweeten our coffee with stevia, a little heavy. Heavy cream, not a little bit, actually a lot of it, because I like it, and we're on keto, and then Lexi, of course, uses the horrifying real sugar. 
but I did too when I was your age, so <laughs> I won't judge. Now you come over here and you freeze. Do you want to Wait. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Afternoon delight, baby. Why are you being secretive about how much? Why you are? are you over here? <laughs> Why are you being? It's not a secret. Dang. You don't even no. know. Did you I leave just, any sugar in the jar? I only used one half scoop. What's a scoop though? Like the dog food scoop? Just scooter? like this much. Half of the spoon. Let's you see. Know? The Lord says, "Thou shalt not lie." <sighs> All right guys, it's been about four, four and a half hours since I put my heatless curl headband in my hair. And now I'm gonna show you how I take them out. Super easy, twist forward this time to loosen the curls. And then you're going to just take your little scrunchies out that came with the kit and make sure the ends of your bands are straightened because like I said, there's a little wire in there. You don't want that to be curled upwards because then it's gonna make it hard to take the headband out. As soon as you've got your scrunchies off, simply pull on the top and wow, look at these beautiful curls. You guys, this changed my life. I'm not even kidding you. As a homeschooling mom and having such long, thick hair, I just don't have the energy or the patience anymore to curl it all, right? I mean, oh my goodness, it takes forever. So gently just run your fingers through it if you wanna have looser curls or you cannot and just let them fall naturally. But look at these curls, you guys. They're like perfect little ringlets. I absolutely love this headband. I'm gonna link it for you guys in the description, so make sure you check it out. It's just flawless, easy, fast, and no chemicals and harmful curling irons on your hair. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm eating a meat stick for a snack, that's rude, but I'm just laughing so hard because Lexi's telling me about filming her first video in the apartment. She doesn't have like a quote unquote YouTube camera, so she's using her phone right now. And I'm like, she's doing this, the dishes. And I'm like, how did you get that shot? You don't even have the tripod stand right now. So how did you get that? Oh, look. <laughs> Are you You put your mm -hmm. phone in your mouth the whole time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. How did you see what you were recording? Of course I did. You were... <laughs> hmm? uh -huh. No. Look at the phone. And you were, okay. See? Oh. Mm -hmm. That's how you got your ankle. And you said, you said it's okay to be a little shaky. So yeah. I was like, okay, well, I'm a lot of shaky, but it's okay. <laughs> That's okay, a little shaky, a lot of shaky. It's yeah, not good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a little break from editing with Lexi on her movie. You guys are so funny. I just, I made a community post that she's starting her channel, and so many of you have subscribed already. She's literally watching her subscriber count go up, and she's so excited. She's like, oh my gosh, 64 people. Oh my gosh, 69. And I said, I told you, people will love you. Like, she's just, she's so funny. I think it's a confidence thing. It took her a long time to get to the point where she wanted to do this, and I just told her it just takes time, and it takes consistency, right? But I do want to thank you guys everyone who's already subscribed to her channel she's just starting out so this is a big step for her I was just coming out to check on Joe see what he's up to I think oh he's welding so 
We got the boys a couple motorcycles. I did a YouTube short on that. Parker actually had a motorcycle from Virginia, um, but he's kind of outgrown it. He was too little when we first got it. He couldn't start it on his own, and then he was a little intimidated by it. So he never rode it. So the motorcycle is essentially brand new. It's a little dirt bike. and. Funny enough, Parker is so tall now that he's basically outgrown it. His little knees almost hit the handlebars. So we gave that motorcycle to Kellen because Kellen is shorter than Parker and it's just a perfect fit for Kellen. And then we went and got Parker a dirt bike that is uh, more suitable for his size. So these little boys driving around here acting crazy, they're having so much fun because everything's melting and we've got the dirt road now. Unfortunately, the old dirt bike, the one of the tires cracked on it really bad, like the, the inside of it actually like bulged out of it. So Joe ordered a new tire for Kellen. So in the meantime, they're sharing Parker's new motorcycle and they're, it's big enough that they're able to ride on it together. Parker rides Kellen around. So Joe is actually welding some little pegs on the back so that Kellen has somewhere to put his little feet. Here it is. A little dirt bike with a big old seat so the boys can ride on that together. <laughs> Joe welded some little pegs. Look at that. Hey, not bad, Joe. Such a good daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clean these up a little bit. Oh. Good enough. Maybe we should get a Harley Davidson. <laughs> you look kind of cute on that thing. Mm. Got that beard? Get you a biker vest? You guys know we're still on the keto diet, so tonight we're making a one pot recipe that is absolutely delicious. We're throwing in a bunch of veggies, some cabbage, some good ground beef, cooking it with some diced tomatoes and all kinds of delicious seasonings. Who doesn't love one pot meals? It's all in one pot, less dishes, win, win. I'll make sure to link this recipe in the video description for you guys, so make sure you check it out. Well, the boys were quite excited because Lexi offered to take them back to her apartment for a sleepover and they were so happy to get a change of scenery from the cabin. And I'm not gonna lie, Joe and I were kind of excited too. You guys, it has been months. I mean, if not years actually, since we, we've had a full night to ourselves. So we decided to take advantage of the light outside this evening. Once they left, we went on a nature walk around our property and just checked out all the beautiful scenery. With winter fading, the snow melting, everything is starting to come alive and you really see the green and the beauty that Alaska has to offer. Then after we were done with our nature walk, we went back to the cabin and watched a couple of videos and it was just a wonderful night with Joe.
good morning what a beautiful day oh my gosh I don't you guys I literally rolled out of bed threw my contacts in and put my hair up so don't know what's happening here uh, it's 52 degrees and it's sunny and it's absolutely gorgeous uh, I love waking up to days like this it's definitely spring you can see the difference from yesterday yesterday was super gloomy and today is super sunny so Joe and I acted like a bunch of little teenagers last night without the boys. We stayed up until three o'clock in the morning and watched movies. <laughs> who, who does that? Tina doesn't do that. Guys, I could not do that anymore. Uh, yeah, it was like 3.08 when we finally turned off the last movie. I was like, Joe, I have to go to bed. So it's late, we slept in, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning, but for me, like my body, I have to get at least five hours of sleep or else, or else I wake up and my eyes are burning and I'm like cranky. So yeah, stayed up late watching movies, slept in, woke up to this amazing sunshine. Mm, thank you, Lord, for the sunshine. Thank you for sunshine. Thank you for rain. Thank you for joy. Thank you for pain. Have you guys heard that song? Anyway, Lexi and the boys are on their way, headed back out to the cabin. And we pretty much finished Lexi's video last night. We're gonna do, and I always do like two or three passes through my videos. I do my first cut, then I go through and check it for other things, and then I watch it one final time to make sure that there's nothing that needs to be corrected. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm totally not awake yet. I feel puffy. I feel like I have like a man's voice right now. But yeah, we're gonna do the final cut today when she comes. We created her little thumbnail yesterday and she called me this morning and was like, mom, go look at my channel. She's like, guess how many subscribers I have. So I go to her channel and she has 1,007 subscribers in less than 24 hours. And that is all a thanks to you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. And by the time my video, this one right here goes up, it'll be more than that. But as of right now, she has over a thousand subscribers. And you know, there's two requirements to monetize on YouTube, to monetize your channel. You have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours on your videos. So um, I'm just really happy for her. It's not, it's not about making money, but I'll tell you what, when you put so much effort into these videos, it's nice to get compensated a little bit for your time and effort. So I'm really happy for her. And then Joe and I are gonna get back on these trees. Yeah, we can't do the greenhouse foundation or anything until all of those trees are chopped up and stacked. So that's, that's gonna be a project, but it's a beautiful day to do it, so. Joe, second attempt at getting you out of this bed. I made you coffee, Joe. Come on, it's sunny. We can go sit on the porch and drink our coffee before the boys get here and all the chaos starts. <laughs> tell him, Asher. Tell him, tell him, Dad, get up. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at these hands. Look, look, can you see that? Those, Asher, stop. Those are like man hands. Look at that. And he's clean. That's like oil seeped into the cracks and calluses of his hands. I love it. It's like an awesome back scratch every time he rubs my back. Come on, come on. Coffee's getting cold, Joe. Come on. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't even poured it yet, but let's go. And just like that, the sun is gone. And the clouds have rolled in. And it even started sprinkling a few minutes ago. Aww. I hate that. You know, the sun just put me in such a good mood. And now it's windy and cold. Maybe it'll clear up. I don't know. Lexi's, Lexi's here. The boys are back. She's vacuuming out her car with the shop vac. That's what that sound is. I think we're trying to see if the clouds clear before we head down and keep cutting up all these trees. I don't know. Joe still has to put the pit list in the well. We haven't got to that yet. Seems like there's always like multiple projects going on, right? Bradley, I, I don't wish to play fetch right now. And what did you find? An old broken Frisbee? You don't really care what it is, do you? 
Excuse me, sir. I'm talking to you. Hey, mister. You're so focused, B. Bradley is so funny. He's already down there in the pond. It's, it is still semi frozen, but it's got that huge crack in it. You guys probably saw it in that drone shot. And I don't know how thick the ice is, but there's still like this floating layer of ice on the pond. Last time we checked it, there was still like a good 18 inches. So, but I don't know, it's been really warm. It's like, it was almost 60 degrees before all these clouds rolled in just now. But Bradley got hot playing with Gunner and he ran down to the pond and laid in the water on the ice. He is so funny. Look, the sun's trying to peek out. Come on, son, you can do it. How's it going? Fine. Cleaning out your car? Yeah. yeah. Trying to. So Are you nice. excited about tomorrow? Yes. So Lexi flies out tomorrow to California to go pick up her boyfriend, James. And then they're flying back to start their new life in Alaska together, eh? Yeah. Okay. It would be nice not to be in the apartment by yourself, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too quiet. So you're going to drive down and park your car at the airport? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll be dog sitting for Lexi. We'll be dog sitting Ollie while she's gone. So she'll be flying out of Anchorage, going to California, picking up her little boo thing, and then heading back to okay let's see what joe's up to look the sun's trying to come out <laughs> i think it's the california girl in me just like the sunshine on my face what you working on chainsaw i see you're working on a chainsaw joe can you elaborate i said <laughs> it's cutting crooked so i'm changing some things I usually translate, like he'll say something and then like I'll re-say it a little bit louder so you guys can hear it. Or I cut the clip and I have him re-say it louder so you guys can hear him. But it's so funny, we just had a comment today on one of our shorts that we did on YouTube and the lady's like, oh, talking to someone that doesn't talk back, that sure hurts, like this whole comment. I'm like, lady, first of all, he mumbled in the background of it. You just couldn't hear it because of the camera. I was filming that little clip with my iPhone and I've been married to Joe for long enough that I can read his eyebrows and I can understand his grunts and his moans and I knew exactly what he was saying to me. And that's all that matters. You don't need to know, right? Like. <sighs> so the cats are earning their keep here on the Alaska property. They've already brought several dead mice to us and actually Bradley did too. So that's what we got them for because we have a lot of little mice up here. So the kitties, especially Rusty, he's a gangsta. He's killed several of them already. So that is good. That's what we got them for. He wants me to throw a broken Frisbee. How does that work? It doesn't, it, he just wants you to throw anything. I know, I think could throw a rock and he would go after it. Probably. Hey, can you wash my car? You're pretty good at that. I'd be better if I actually had real stuff. This is just water. Doesn't dad have armor on? What? I don't know. Dad always has armor on, Lexi. He has car wax, he has armor on, he has everything. Should uh, probably talk to your father. Helen, that's a good look on you. <laughs> Got your uh, Nerf gun motorcycle vest, good old helmet. Some cool Rocky Balboa boxing gloves. That almost broke. Yeah. Oh, uh, he broke them. Do you have socks on? Yes. Are you sure? You love Rusty? He's a sweet kitty, huh? Rusty Boo! Are we gonna try to cut up some of these trees or what? Babe, you can't not feel like it. We gotta get this done. 
You don't have to. It'll be here next year. No, what? Next year? Next year I need to have a greenhouse, so we got to get that cleaned out, Joe. love riding the motorcycles. Kellen will do just about anything for some time on the motorcycle. He will knock his school lessons out super fast, get all his chores done. He has just found something that he loves. Just the freedom of riding that dirt bike up here, he really likes it. Hi, hi old man. You gonna hang out with us for a couple days? Yeah. Ollie's like eight years old, aren't ya? Yeah, him's a fat man. Ollie's on a little diet, he's a little overweight. We rescued Ollie from the animal shelter in Virginia back in like 2015 or 16, I can't remember. He was like nine months old when we got him. And he is just the perfect dog. I mean, just his temperament. Ollie's only issue is he's a chewer. He has anxiety, like separation anxiety. So in total, while he lived with us in Virginia, he has eaten an entire sectional couch, both sections, stairs, carpeted stairs that we had. Twice. Twice, yeah, because Joe replaced the carpet and then he ate that too, right? Again, yeah. And then Lexi's mattress in her bedroom and yeah, we gave him chance after chance. And so Ollie always has to be kenneled when you go bye-bye or he might eat your house. Other than that, he's a great dog. Well, it looks like I was unsuccessful at motivating Joe into chopping up some more firewood, but hey, that's how life rolls, right? That's okay, because chores are always gonna be there. One thing that won't always be there is the time that we have with our babies. So we're gonna take advantage of this time that we have. Also exploring and enjoying the Alaskan terrain as the seasons change, seeing the landscape of our new homestead changing right before our eyes. This is what life is all about. So the chores can wait, they'll be there tomorrow. Well, I was going to tell you what I was doing. Are you ready? Tell me action. I have to tell you action? Yes. Action? Not like we're on a movie. Action! Good afternoon, folks. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Trying to get that perfect shot, Joe? <laughs> you should just get the GoPro. Well, me. Oh. And then I'm gonna get a shot into the coffee cup. <laughs> like so. Okay. So am I just doing you pouring or yeah, am just I like me zooming in no. pouring? Well, just me pouring and then you're gonna get a perspective of it going in the cup like. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like, like in the like cup. Like fast? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then like hold it there, you know what I'm saying? Okay, five seconds. You don't wanna make people dizzy. Five seconds at least. Okay. Okay. Do I have a double chin from this angle? You were silent. No, that I was looking in I, here. I'm, no, you're fine. It's dropping. You are I, fine. I'm 41, oh Lexi, gosh. in two Mom? weeks, and it's something's happening here. No, it's not. And I'm like, this is what I used to look like. 
Well, quit doing that. But that's what it used to look like, and mm -hmm. now it's like, it's, what, what is that? <laughs> really? What? No! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you <so> <laughs> No, babe, you're supposed to act like we're having a party now that the kids are gone. Ready? No. Action! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you make me be the only one? Come on, just give me a little uh, Arizona. Ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> so funny because Joe talks so quiet. Like, I usually, I, I, what? <laughs> hey. You're pretty good. Yeah, uh-huh. See? Oh, he's communicating with you. <laughs> he said he's done with the conversation. <laughs> 